Over the last like seven videos, everyone's been like, where the hell's the British? Where's cans? <laughs> Bring back cans. Bring back yeah. cans. I'm here. We're back with British drama, which is great. But just for all the comments, first of all, I'm involved in every video. So I'm always here. Don't worry. But if you want to hear me and you're tired of me being behind the scenes, then me and Stan have a podcast. So go and check out the podcast. Binge and cringe. Woo. Binge and cringe. Okay, let's get into it. Let's get into um, it. I never thought that I'd be here explaining to you who and what Jedward are. But call me Ripley's, because believe it or not, there's drama stands. That's you, you stole my line. <laughs> You don't like that one? I thought that was Oh, uh, well, yeah, I like it when it comes out of my mouth, but when I hear other people do it, I hate it. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, <laughs> all so right, sorry, Ripley's, yeah. tell me about Jedward. <laughs> First of all, Jedward, what the fuck do you know about them? Do you know anything? I, no, I, I truly know nothing about Jedward. I did a quick Google when you said I have Jedward drama because I kind of was thinking Squidward, and all I've seen <laughs> is this picture of two people. They're kind of, are they like Da Vinci? <laughs> Surprisingly, um, I have written they're like the Da Vinci of music. <laughs> Yo, it's Da Vinci, the Da Vinci so of music. Funny. No, they're they're pre Da Vinci, so Da Vinci has definitely got inspiration from these two. Wait, that is the funniest thing you've ever said. Because like, could what you, you imagine seeing this and being like, oh, let's do that, but crazier. You know, let's do that, but let's be weird. hundred percent. I know. I agree with you. I'm just saying. Just sorry, crazy. it's not crazy that you're wrong. It's crazy that exists in the world. You know what yes. I mean? Okay, I completely yeah. agree. To get an idea of who the fuck Jedward are, we need to go all the way back to X Factor season six. Okay, so this is them on X Factor. Who have we got here? Uh, we're twins. I'm Edward. I'm John, and we're 17, and we're from Dublin. Oh, Edward and John, Jedward. What's yeah. funny is I don't think they ever get called Jedward as like a group name right. once in the whole of X Factor. I was looking through clips, uh -huh. and even when they got kicked off the show, spoiler alert, they came fifth. Oh, uh, but they that's got great. All the way to the grand finals. Yeah. Wait. Was, oh, so they're not like I mean, this isn't like William Hung. Like they're so bad, they're good. They're actually semi talented. No, they're bad. <laughs> okay, never mind. I apologize. I shouldn't uh, have rushed. Factor was basically peak X Factor, and they always had one really, really bad act yeah. that would only get through because of their personality. And then by the time it got to like the last four, the fans were no longer allowed to vote, and they just did it on judges because That's otherwise so Jedward would win, basically. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. so and they, they can't have, have that. that happen. So they'd make like Simon Cowell basically decide whoever gets the fucking million pounds or whatever the fuck it was. Oh, nice. But you might have seen, if you go back a little bit, one of the yeah. judges there is a guy called Louis Walsh. Dude, he, he um, smiles like me. We have the same smile, like we had a stroke. You don't want to be like Louis Walsh. Uh, I hate him. like cringe cringe, yeah. but in this scenario, he is the bad guy, okay? We are Team Jedward all the way, just so you get an idea of what the fuck's going on. Got it. Everybody, I don't care who you are, where you're from, don't care what you did as long as what do you so, think if you were put on the American Idol, sorry, X Factor 7 stage today, you just woke up and you're transformed there and you had to sing, do you think you would do that well, better or worse? I do much better than that, but I do. You do much I better than that. I have a degree okay. in music. So. Right, 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 right. <laughs> okay, okay. So with coming fifth on X Factor, just to put it into perspective for you, the next year, One Direction were in X Factor. This is like right. the, the prime time of X Factor dominating uh, UK TV. Jedward were a big thing just for the meme of them being bad. Basically. Yeah, but just these two really confident. Funny kids who were out there doing their thing. They ended up going on Celebrity Big Brother in 2011. So it was okay. like two years after X Factor. And you might be surprised to know they came third stance. Sorry, they, was this team Big Brother? What's happening here? Uh, well, they're, they're a package, okay? Were it's they actually John a Edward, package in Big Jedward. Brother? They they I, got to play I'm together? I'm not sure, yeah. They, they, so they came funny. third. <laughs> Jedward are up to something. What? They're using cocktail sticks and toes to make some kind of tower. And why? He's like naked, just woke up, and they're wearing full trench coats. Yeah, like, exactly <laughs> the same outfit. Wearing this, with the same hairstyle, stacking toes. It's Dude, they're nightmare. fucking so sick. Are they trying to get in his head to win Big Brother? I don't understand. They're just, they're doing it for the love of the game. Oh my god, there's toast crumbs all over the floor. What have I 
told you boys Shut about up, food. It's like Lego, but it's not. It's bread. <laughs> it's going to be wasted. Oh, it's going to be wasted. You held it. Death by Jedward. <laughs> Rest in peace, Gantz. It was yeah. the last thing you saw. Okay, so, yeah, they came third. People, the public loved them. Uh, they were reality show stars, so they would go on, like, panel shows and things like that a lot. Right. They ended up going on Celebrity Big Brother again in 2017. Okay. And this time they came second. Oh, so third to second. They have to go one more time in seven years. Are yeah. they still popular enough, or is this, like, a meme? What is happening here? They're popular as in... Every single person, I would say between 25 to 40 in the UK, knows Jedward. Got it. And okay. I don't think that's an exaggeration. I think everyone would be like, oh, I, I've heard of Jedward. Sure. Yeah. I think he's just peeled an orange now, Mark. Yeah, he's, he's throwing food on the floor. Please, not today. Guys. So, Jen had just come in. They were like a new person Addition. in the house. Yeah. yeah. And they were all, on the literally their first day, they see them peeling an orange and they're like oh we hate jedward they're really annoying so he's clearly he's doing something wrong yeah and jedward show why the the whole entire country love them by showing such humility okay question you can right. ask a question you may answer right so you'll find the food on the floor. <laughs> they're like a fairy you may ask a question and i will answer <laughs> thrice yeah. yeah what food what food? Okay. You were going to come and make out that Edda was throwing rubbish on the floor, which he would never do because he loves the environment okay, so much. Okay, I know you came for a hug. Bring it in. Thank Nick you. Himself, Nick <laughs> Jesus himself. Christ. Uh, anyway, let's move on because yeah. we have to find out about someone else who is also an alumni from Celebrity Big Brother, Gemma Collins. Okay, I don't... That name is not ringing a bell, but maybe once I see something? She is from the hit TV show The Only Way Is Essex or TOWIE for short. Never heard of it. You've never heard of TOWIE? No. Essentially, it's a reality show, but it's shot like it's a drama. They are real people in their real lives, in real relationships, but the producers will whisper something to them to, like, say, oh, this person thinks about this and has said this behind your back. And then we'll get both of these real people in a room and they will have a real conversation, but it's essentially been scripted because the producers whisper, with, like, shit in their ear. What? Okay. So it's like Jersey Shore? It's it's like Jersey Shore, Geordie Shore, all that kind of stuff. That's enough context that you need for this clip to make sense. This is the icon, Gemma Collins. Okay. So listen, listen. Uh, <laughs> really? Hi, Arch. Where have you been? Just been out hanging with the girls. Are you used to getting together or what? You've been going around discussing what happened between us, yeah? But let me tell you something now. You don't ever... Disrespect. Why would I disrespect you? Drug, Drug take speaking. a good look at this. You ain't ever gonna get this candy. <laughs> Yo! So <laughs> fucking sick. The Giga Chad. Uh, obviously, there's a whole fucking storyline that is built up to that moment. <laughs> right, but right, right. Gemma, Gemma's the go. Okay? Yeah. You needed that to get the context of who she is. Uh huh. The she's a bad bitch. Her. Yeah, she is no longer on Towie. She's doing her own thing. She's like a TV celeb. Got it. She's, everyone knows. Everyone loves her. Okay, um, love that. A couple of iconic clips from her stint on Celebrity Big Brother. Mm -hmm. um, here's her crying about hair straighteners. Oh, just like me on that stream. My hair, this is very expensive hair. It's fucking frazzled because you've only got straighteners in here. You haven't got heated rollers. <laughs> so you better pay. You can pay for me to have a new set of extensions. Is she talking to production in her Big Brother confessional? Essentially, yeah. She's talking to Big Brother. <laughs> That's but so funny. That is production. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You guys never have the right coffee for me. It's like, what is happening okay. here? The final line of this is fucking iconic. So Got it. Good. Why don't you think of putting heated rollers in here? Straighteners are what fucking weirdos use on their hair. <laughs> That's what you think of me. are what fucking weirdos use on their hair. Are you sure? Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. This became such a thing that at one point she wins immunity and she gets awarded <laughs> a blow dry, but at the cost of the rest of the house giving up hot water. Oh, um, so she has to steal the hot water from them to get her, yeah, like, if Brazilian you, blowout. So she's found out she's getting the blow dry. Yeah. This is Your the special punishment. prize is a professional blow dry. A hairdresser is now waiting for you in the spare bedroom. In the spare bedroom? <sighs> However, this prize will come at a cost. Gemma, if you choose to accept this special prize, the hot water and appliances will be switched off all day. Oh, and appliances. Gemma, do you wish to accept your special prize? Guys... I know the right thing to do. <laughs> oh, and she's setting up for it. <laughs> I can see it. She's turning. Yeah. Would be to not have this blow dry. <laughs> but 
You've you know the situation with me, yeah. <laughs> so if you I know the done, situation. Mate, got caught up with the moaning, but I'm happy to boil kettle water all day. It's mm. not that big a deal. We yeah, shut it before. Well, they're just yeah, saying she can do it. If you're not going to say no. this, and then no. Pablo back like, she's such a bitch. No, she's had a blow dry. No, <laughs> and the it. severity of the situation is a serious <laughs> issue. The severity of the situation is a serious issue. It's about getting a blow dry. I think you know about me that I am a reality TV lover. It is something I never watched yeah. as a kid, but in the last like year even, I have gotten really into it. I actually think Big Brother fucking sucks so bad because of stuff like this. It's like, what is happening here? I watch Survivor and they're like not eating and they're having to do hard shit. This is like, yeah. I really, really want to blow up. Water. Yeah, and yeah. they and literally the rest of the cast is like, hey, who gives a shit, bro? <laughs> they're like, just go <laughs> ahead and do it. <laughs> now we've had the context. Here's the drama stance. Okay. Louis Walsh. Yeah. Big Lou, I call him. He is currently in Celebrity Big Brother. Oh, really? Like right now. Since being in the house, he's basically taken the opportunity to slag off every single person who he's managed for, who he's ever worked with, everything to do with X Factor. Right. He's just going fucking wild. This is cathartic he's for also him. In he's there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely cathartic. Uh, he's also in there with Sharon Osbourne, who was also a judge. Okay. Yeah, here's just some clips of them bitching to each other about things. Celebrity Big Brother bosses and lawyers are having to screen Sharon Osbourne and Louis Walsh's gossip sessions with only snippets making it to air. Oh. The pair have swapped stories about James Corden, who Sharon described as a name dropper, Ellen DeGeneres, who she said was vomit inducing, and Vogue editor in chief Anna Wintour, who was described as a C word. <laughs> like they're just in there gossiping the whole time, and the show's yeah. not putting it on TV. They're not putting a lot of it on TV. But what happens with Celebrity Big Brother is there is a live feed. Oh yeah, you can just you watch into. it. You're right, twenty four seven. Yeah. Yeah. So to get around that, for like some of the things that they know they're going to get sued for if they air, uh -huh. they've been playing bird song for like periods of time to cover no. up the audio and. Sometimes people have said it's lasted like 20 minutes. That's which is so crazy. funny. These are all examples of things that they can't air, but whenever they get an example of something that they can air, it is a gold mine. Of course. And this time, Louis came for Jedward. <gasps> I've no. had to reupload this because it doesn't exist the anywhere. Scoop. It's crazy. But... Holy shit. Doing the Lord's work. What would Jedward like? They were vile. <laughs> but they've done well. But they were great for the show. Did... I, I got five million grand for them. <gasps> you know. I swear on my mother's life. I wish I had a Jedward. <laughs> and they were vile. Yeah. Why? Is, he said they were vile were three novelty. times? Yeah. It's what the fuck, show. dude? Yeah. Shut the, the fuck show. up, Louis. Don't come for yeah. Jedward like that. <laughs> anyway, this airs live on Celebrity Big Brother at 9 p.m. yesterday. Okay. Uh, yesterday? Even Holy. though I don't watch or care about Celebrity Big Brother, there are at least three people that still do. Mm -hmm. Do you know who those three people are, Stans? F uh, Princess Catherine. Who? John, Edward, and Gemma Collins. Wait. <laughs> of course. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Hopefully, they were... you can click this link, yeah. and it will go to the Instagram story. Uh, uh, oh, wait. This is one link. Are they together? Louis, don't be slagging off my boys. <laughs> They're not vile. They're beautiful in every <laughs> single <laughs> way. <laughs> on the show you're like a cat with nine lives how much times can you slag off your ass girls allow boys own ronan keaton it's absolutely a disgrace and didn't you're a senile man who did nothing for us i gotta say this is like vibes of shane dawson watching the video and like yes, walking around dude, the room exactly. yeah exactly it's very similar vibes <laughs> How dare you be on Big Brother? I don't know why Gemma's interviewing us, but honestly, <laughs> talk about throwing someone in the deep end. You're like a cat with nine lives. She gave you nine lives. We're sick of it. <laughs> you didn't do anything for us. You are a person with not a brain between the two ears. You're on Big Brother. You're, you're there, but your lights aren't on. Oh. <laughs> First of all, Louis Wall Oh, dude, I'm worried because there's 15 more of these. <laughs> Have you listened to what you've done to your other acts? Boys on Girls Allowed, Westlife, they all hate yeah, you. Yeah, gave yeah. eating disorders it's to Girls so Allowed. It's so fucking funny that literally he doesn't know any of this is happening. First right, because he's in the house. Knows. They take your phones. Yeah, he's going to be yeah, there for a yeah. while he's just too. just fucking living his life. But to say Jedward of Vile and then like Jedward happening to be at Gemma Collins' house that night watching it live yeah. to then basically not even live tweet it. 
but to post it on the Instagram stories so we get this fucking content. So many stars have to align and it's so fucking sick. Oh, let's see what else they have to say about their friend. You only have boy bands to make it look like you're doing something with your life when you're a bitter old man. Nothing against old people, but you <laughs> see. <laughs> you're a bitter old man. Nothing against old people. And then instantly, the, this end bit, he's just going, I don't know what I'm saying. Because <laughs> yeah, he oh. realized as soon as he went old people, he was like, oh shit, they're going to hate me for that yeah, one. <laughs> the wine went to my head. The biggest part of this uh, that they do touch on, but they for some reason don't focus on, mm -hmm. is in that clip, Louis saying, I got five million for them. Yeah. And uh, spoiler alert, no, he didn't. That's <gasps> just a straight lie. Uh, they only met Louis Walsh four times and he was their manager on X Factor. They didn't sign a single contract with them and uh, Jed would have not seen five million from anything to do with Louis Walsh. Right. So either he's lying or he was like embezzling Taking money. all their money, like, yeah. The Either of them could be so reasonable. Funny. Like, honestly, we gave you nine lives. I don't know what that way not Don't do the nine lives thing again. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they keep jumping on that. <laughs> They're reading off a script, <laughs> dude. Here we go. We're getting onto the good shit because <laughs> Gemma Collins has got a hot tub and they keep on going in the hot tub. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's just a Oh, it's so Guys, loud. Honestly, what a world would ever night. Such a shocker what just happened. I never know what's gonna happen. We were I don't. I. I think I'm just not built different. I think, but built different. So like, this is not. I am better. They are better. It, I just. I don't yeah. think my brain works this way. It's like, what is happening? You know what I mean? I because like, they've already done the thing. Yeah. Why if he says nine lives one tub? more time, I'm turning off the stream. <laughs> I'm letting you know in the middle of the call. If I stop talking, it's because they've said nine lives and I'm done. Now I need a good friend in your life to have your back. When you need yeah, it most. Gemma's that friend. Hell oh, yeah. Preach. Preach, Where's the five mil? Because the boys didn't get it. So let's there we go. Yeah, let's find out where that money went. Imagine if he went to jail because of Big Brother. And it turns out that he actually was stealing right, money from Jedward. Right, and he's embezzling. Yeah. yeah. Let's find out because these boys didn't get five mil. Let's do it. Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> Louis, like, uh, all know, right, that's it, that's it. I think there's one more of them in the hot tub, but it doesn't matter. It's right. Not, <laughs> send you so much love and good energy to the future. You all gotta keep moving forward, no matter what gets thrown your way. As long as you have good intentions and a good heart, you will attract the same energy that you put out. Yeah, thanks for all the love and messages. Really means a lot. That uh, rules! That rules, dude! So I think somewhere in between Jedward going from eating the food and going in the hot tub, yeah. they went fucking crazy on Twitter. Oh, um, Louis Walsh is a cold-hearted bastard who didn't even send us flowers when our mom died. Oh, dude. So that's, that's the beautiful. first one, but if you go on their profile and just scroll down, there's like eight tweets all about Louis Walsh back to back to back. <laughs> right, starting about... Yeah, I mean, oh my god, you can see him right here. Louis Walsh bitched and talked about us to our best friend Tara Reid, and then we fight. Wait. Is that the same Tara Reed? That is the same Tara Reed. They are friends with the Sharknado star Tara Reed. Dude, yes! Dude, I love Tara Reed. That's so sick. Louis Walsh is an evil manipulator who forced us into an office to pay 70,000 pounds from our bank account to one of his own PR workers. It feels like they're in like a writer's room and they're trying to write your mama jokes. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's Louis like, Walsh well, is this. They yeah. put it into chat GPT and they just put Louis Walsh and then fill in the blank yeah. for the rest of it. it yeah, he's so a bad businessman. Tell me jokes. Louis Walsh tried to make us sign our name and life away and dodgy contracts to people he was great friends with. Without our mom, we wouldn't be here today. What an absolute weirdo with bad intentions for all. Does he like anyone? <laughs> Louis Walsh came to our hotel room one night and we didn't even know why. He had come unannounced. Still don't know why. He then proceeded to our tour manager's room. Think that says it all. That says yeah, nothing. That one's, yeah, that one's either incredibly dark or literally nothing, right? Yeah, like, there's yeah. no in between. There's like an implication of something there, uh -huh. but they don't say it. So yeah. then nothing? I don't know. Very weird. I think it says it all. Girls Aloud hate Louis. Uh, Jedward hate Louis. Rowan Keating hates Louis. Boy Zone hates Louis. Girl Zone Louis. hates Louis, uh, Graham, Louis, Louis, Louis. Grandpa Zone hates Louis. All future actually be made aware of what this vile man is really like. You see that? They're throwing it back in his face. They hit him with the so vile. So true. I'm glad you noticed that one. Steph. And then finally, Louis uh, reopened these wounds all by himself being spiteful and disrespectful. We are going to have our character taken. Justice will be served. <laughs> 
<laughs> Justice will be served. Hell yeah. That dude. was crazy. Yeah, these guys look and like the kind of guys who can distribute justice. <laughs> So true. As long as they're wearing the same outfit, all yeah. justice will be served. And this tweet, not from anyone involved, I think sums everything up perfectly, especially my thoughts of being on Twitter this week. Got it. Got it. Got it. The Glasgow Willy Wonka experience, Kate Middleton's Photoshop saga, and now Jedward versus Louis Walsh. We are truly in a social media renaissance. I feel it. It's glorious. This period will be studied in years to come. Can I say something? Yeah, uh, closing remarks, let's go. You closing see. remarks, this is so true, because we've talked about this. Like, months ago, I was like, dude, is Twitter good again? Remember when we did the video of the guy who got stuck in the fucking vase? <laughs> yeah, that was January. That we was January, like, we're like, dude, Twitter's be the back. the video this year, yeah. and it's not even close. We've but had three months of Twitter heat, and I, I hate yes. Elon Musk, but like, did he do it? <laughs> is, are we back? Hey, no, this is nothing to do with Elon Musk. This is completely separate. I almost feel like this is to spite Elon Musk, right? with right. all of the things that are happening are like almost the opposite of Elon's ethos. Yeah. And we're all fucking making Twitter great again. Nothing to do with Elon. <laughs> Fuck that guy. You know? So true. Uh, yeah, this is hilarious. I think Twitter is so funny usually. As long as you stay away from the racism, sexism, and all that other stuff, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah.